Hey guys, it's me. I know I've been gone for a while, but I figured I should go ahead and make a video for this <coughs> since it's kind of an important project. Um, first, a couple disclaimers about stuff. This isn't exactly a tutorial, but it is a good place to start if you want to get into Terraria modding, as the source code is available for anybody and everybody to edit and do whatever the heck they want with. So if you're interested in start getting started with modding, that is a good place to start. Um, just see the description for information about that. Okay, now for actual details, uh, this is a mod I created. Since Wraith Mod is really unavailable to pretty much everybody, no one's really, um, no one really has access to it um, because of it's a it's a dangerous griefer tool really at this point. Um, with uh, server security uh, issues, and it's only gotten even more dangerous as I've been just messing with it. And yes, I still do update it. It's up to like 1.10.1 with uh, all kinds of uh, goodies. Anyways, this mod, Buildaria, is geared towards map creators. Um, it allows you to easily edit your maps in single player mode, and maybe if you did a uh, host and play mode, it might uh, work but I'm not promising anything about that. I haven't even looked into it. I've only thought about it. Anyways, so it lets you edit single player maps very easily. Um, it gives you all kinds of handy tools um, that you can use to make maps. Um, just a short list of features is the handy dandy selection system, uh, which allows you to copy, paste, and undo uh, uh, changes to large areas. So there I selected an area. Um, you can uh, toggle NPCs. That is for switching between night and day. Sorry. Um, NPCs is C I think actually. Yeah so no enemy NPCs will be able to uh, spawn and now they can. Uh, there's no real indicators at this point uh, as to stuff like that. Um, I'm thinking about putting some kind of console, or maybe uh, bringing Wraith Mods console in just so you can see uh, a small amount of things. But yeah, so toggleable NPCs, there's a no clip mode for flying around. Um, there is no Fulbright, uh, redigit, re -digit, sorry, re removed the easy method of Fulbright, and I haven't really looked into a current method. Um, it also lets you uh, just place blocks anywhere. See, I can just put stuff in air no need to be um, touching other blocks or anything for me to just drop blocks down anywhere. Um, I believe the same goes for walls. Um, also, multiple inventories, so if we open the inventory we can scroll between the different inventories. Um, and there is one specific inventory which contains all kinds of items for testing your maps. For example, if you were making a uh, adventure map and you wanted to be able to test certain jumps or parkour places or whatever there's an inventory for that which also disables you from uh, deactivating ghost mode. It should deactivate you from using ghost <coughs> mode but like a bug. I always find a bug when I make a video so whatever. Um, so yeah there's different inventories built for different things so now we can deactivate ghost mode. Um, this is the potions. Anyways uh, yeah so different inventories and as I show you you can cycle forward to nighttime. Oh, look, a blood moon. Let's uh, deactivate the NPCs. There, they're gone. You saw those rabbits vanish, I hope. But yeah, um, so you can deactivate NPCs there. I'm glad I was able to actually show that. So yeah, you can switch between night and day. So I just switched between morning. Now the problem is with this is it switches it to exactly morning or exactly night. So you kind of can't tell by the sky background. The music is really the only way you can uh, tell. By the way, I love Terraria's music. Um, yeah, the, the inventories, I already mentioned that, uh, cycling forward to dawn and dusk. The god mode, uh, I forget how you can deactivate that, I'm pretty sure it's G, you can deactivate, yeah, there it is. So that switches uh, your life to 400, as you can see right here, and it also controls whether this depth meter um, is active, as well as the watch in-game. Oh yeah, I guess you kind of can see that on the watch, can't you? Never mind, um, yeah. Um, you have infinite rocket boots. Is if you have them equipped and you have God Mode active, you turn off God Mode. Ah, eh, that probably actually stays there the way I have it. Um, yeah, God Mode works pretty well. As you can see, I didn't die. Um, 
depth meter and the watch active, a special inventory, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing I've pretty much shown all the stuff except the selection tool. So let's go ahead. Oh, yeah. Also, your pickaxe. It's a, it's an awesome pickaxe. By the way, bringing this to multiplayer won't really give you anything as it resets the items to their default state. Not So don't bother trying to get a pickaxe like this. We're on a multiplayer server. And yeah, anyways. So yeah, you have an awesome pickaxe to work with. You have this, which is basically an awesome ham axe. Just cuts down trees and walls instantly. But yeah, let's show off the selection tool. This is probably really while you're here. So you can select an area, um, and then you can do things to that area. Let me switch inventories around. For example, let's go to the blocks. Here we go. So if we want to fill this with dirt, we would select the area, so get dirt block right up here right click and it fills it with dirt dun, 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 dun. that was easy if we want we can <coughs> erase everything use this pickaxe switch to the pickaxe tool right click it's all gone um, if we want to we can hold alt that'll make it a circle and we can well an ellipse actually I guess is the proper term and it'll fill it with an ellipse if we hold shift it outlines it and we can make an outline of dirt blocks sure. and get rid of that if we want we can hold alt and shift and we get a circle outline. Pretty cool stuff. Um, so yeah, that is the basics of the selection tool. Also, if you hold shift while selecting, you will get a perfect square. This is useful for making circles. Perfect circles, for example. Um, yeah, like that. Do that. Get rid of that. Um, it's actually not perfect, I don't think. I'm pretty sure there's some math I still have to fix. So let's, uh, let me show you something else. Um, one problem I know is uh, some stuff I did with yeah, see that? It's not coming down here, but I'm not holding shift to make it a square. And uh, that lightsaber is not supposed to be swinging. I know it's annoying. Um, but it actually comes down. There's a problem with clipping the texture for the overlay, but ignore it. It actually does extend down there. See? It just doesn't draw it properly. So just keep that in mind when you're using this tool. Um, so if we want, let's get rid of all that, and let's make it a cool circle. And so there we have a neat little uh, stone circle place. Let's get rid of that, and if we hold Shift and Alt, we get the cool outline. Very cool, at least in my opinion. So yeah, we have that. And by the way, you see how these are kind of separated. If you uh, quit and come back, it'll be fixed. Don't worry about it. Um, it's just a problem with accessing some world gen functions that control the tiles frames. Um, yeah, those are my brothers in the background. You can just ignore them for now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see. Copy and pasting. Let's go ahead and do that. So, select the area. Control C to copy. Select one point. It'll it'll copy it. It'll I mean it'll paste it to the upper left of the selection. So if I do that, it'll paste up here. If I do that, it'll paste up here. So you can just paste stuff. Uh, pasting trees doesn't work very well, so don't try to do it. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Undo. Control Z. You undo your last. Uh, whatever you did, but it only undoes, undoes uh, selection based changes. So like if you do this, you can't undo that. Just saying. Um, so let's copy this and paste. There it is. Exactly what we had, minus the trees. So yeah, you can copy and paste uh, if you have like little houses you want to copy and paste I everywhere. Now you can. I want to be able to make it so you can save schematic type files. Um, and uh, if you guys want to, you could probably easily modify the code to do that. It's really not hard. The hardest part would be uh, figuring out which file the user is wanting to load without, in without it, some kind of built-in input system. But anyways, um, you can find the full details in the description as usual. And uh, yeah. Also, let me just do one more thing, because I, I really like doing this. <coughs> Yes, I know. It's cool. Yeah, you can easily make oceans and uh, lava and stuff. And if you use an empty bucket, you can clean up that area of liquid. Yeah, I know. It's very intuitive, in my humble opinion. Oh my gosh. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, enjoy.